Good morning, grade 3 children. How are you this morning? How was your Christmas vacation? I am sure you enjoyed the holiday season with your family at home. And today, I want to greet you a Happy New Year 2021 to you, my dear children. Mmm, remember me? It's me again, Teacher Telma, for our lesson in English Grade 3. We are now on the second quarter for the school year 2020-2021 in this new normal. How's your journey in learning? Very good. How I'd love to hear that. That you keep on going, discovering and learning new things while having this new normal way of schooling. Again, let us be grateful because we are all well and we are in good health. We are so blessed for God has given us this new year 2021. Let us give thanks to God for that wonderful blessing. I believe you are still with your parents or guardians at this very hour. They will serve as your learning facilitators at this time. So have a nice time learning with them. Okay. Be sure you have your ball pen, notebook, sheets of paper, and of course, your module in English Grade 3, Quarter 2, Module 1, with the topic, Using Be Verbs Correctly. Sit properly and make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath and be a good listener. Are you ready? Let's start. Grade 3 kids, after going through this module, you are expected to correctly use the B verbs. Am, is, are, was, where. In a sentence. Enjoy your journey. Good luck. This time, please turn to page two of your module. The what I know part, which presents an activity that aims to check what you have already know about the lesson on using the be verbs. Am, is, are was and where done very good directions choose the correct b verb from the box below to complete each sentence um is are was, where. Write only the correct B verb on a clean sheet of paper. First sentence that you are going to complete is I blank ready to start my day. Again, I blank ready to start my day. Your 5 second time starts now. Time's up! Number 2 She blank waiting for me at the lobby last Friday. She blank Waiting for me at the lobby 
last Friday. Time starts now. Time's up! Number 3. Sir Ramon Blanc teaching an English lesson today. Sir Ramon Blanc teaching an English lesson today. Your time starts now. Time's up! Number 4. The children blank preparing some sweet foods last Christmas. The children blank preparing some sweet foods last Christmas. Time's up! Fifth sentence to be completed is We blank going to church on Sunday. We blank going to church on Sunday. Time starts now. Time's up! Are you done? So, let us check your answers. Number 1 I blank ready to start my day. What's the correct B verb for this sentence? Yes, am. The correct answer is am. I am ready start my day number two what is your answer she blank waiting for me at the lobby last friday complete the sentence with the correct p verb the appropriate p verb is was she was waiting for me at the lobby last Friday. How about in sentence number three? Sir Ramon long teaching an English lesson today. The correct answer is the B verb is Sir Ramon is teaching an English lesson today. Number four. The children blank preparing some sweet foods last Christmas. What is your answer? If that is be verb where, then you are correct. The children were preparing some sweet foods last Christmas. Lastly, number five, we blank going to church on Sunday. The correct verb for that is are. We are going to church on Sunday. How many correct answers you got? Oh, well, you can make it better later. This time, let's proceed to page 3 of your module. Lesson 1, the B verbs. What's in? Let us have an activity. Are you ready? Read the question below and draw your answer in the box. Write at least three sentences about your drawing. The title of the activity is Imagine and Explain. Let us read together the question, okay? 
Read with me in 3, 2, 1. What is your favorite animal? And why do you consider that animal as your favorite? Write three sentences about your drawing. Write them on the space below the box. Do this activity during this commercial break. Take your time, kids! The Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hello boys and girls, Teacher Telma is here again. Are you done doing the activity in page 3? If yes, very good. If no, you can continue working on it after our session. Okay? This time, let us proceed to page 4. Have you seen the What's New icon? Very good! Kids, let me ask you. Do you like reading poetry? Very good! That's a good hobby! Keep doing it! Before we read the poem, Homeschool, which can be found in page 6, let us build your vocabulary. Read the following words and look at the pictures. First word is bend. Look at the picture for the word bend. What does it mean? Bend means to curve out of a straight line or position. In the picture, the boy bends his knees. The boy bends his knees. Second word is modules. Modules are package of study materials for use of learners. There are two grade 3 English modules. Third word is virus. Say it again, virus. Virus is an extremely small living thing that causes a disease and that spread from one person or animal to another. Just like coronavirus, that affects different people in different ways, not only in our country, but all over the world. In the picture, virus spreads out when somebody sneezes. So cover your mouth or face when you cough or sneeze. So... Keep safe, everyone! The fourth word is dream. A dream is a cherished ambition or aspiration in life. In the picture, the girl's dream 
is to be a doctor when she grows up. We are done finding the meaning of these words. Are you now ready to listen and read? Very good. As I said, be a good listener. Here's the poem. Homeschool by Christine Joy W. Lytle. Books are closing and school is waiting. Friends are sad. I miss the learnings that we had. No more playing with friends. No more knees to bend. No more sitting beside like brothers, and no more teachers like mothers. Home is the safest place for learning, where I listen to my parents when they are teaching. They teach me to read and count numbers, modules, television. And radio are the answers. I am hiding and praying to enjoy the world that we are living. Virus that spreads anywhere. Well, I need to take good care. This problem will end soon. I just pray to God and look at the moon. Everything would be back to normal, just like a calendar. My dreams will go beyond this far. This time, let us check if you have attentively listened and read the poem. Homeschool by Christine Joy W. Lito. Answer the four comprehension questions. If you cannot completely answer those questions, don't worry. You can finish them after our session. Okay? Number one. What is the safest place for learning? Number two, how did the kid learn without going to school? Number three, why can't he go to school? Number four, what do you think did he feel when he couldn't play with his friends? I am sure you have all the answers in your mind. You may take your time writing your answers in your notebook after this session. This time, let us proceed to page 8, the What is It icon. Direction. Read the following sentences. Kids, read with me. While reading with me, take note of the underlined words, okay? Number one, friends are sad. Number two, home is the safest place for learning. Number three, I am hiding and praying. Number four, he was studying last night. Number five. They were teaching their younger brother. Very good. Keep on reading boys and girls. Okay? What are the underlined words that you have read? Very good. 
keep on reading. These are R is M was and where they are called be verbs they connect the subject and the main verb in the sentence the word be indicates the state of being use am is and was if the subject is singular use are and where if the subject is plural there are rules for you to follow in using the be verbs rule for is and was use is or was if the subject is singular example in the sentence school is waiting school is the subject it is singular so use the be verb is school is waiting in the sentence he was studying last night he is the subject he is singular was is used for singular subject and used for past action in this sentence the phrase last night is the time signal that indicates past action use are or where if the subject is plural he was studying last night are and where are plural example in the sentence friends are sad friends is the subject it is plural so use the be verb are friends are sad moreover use the be verb are if the subject is you example you are in grade three use the be verb am if the subject is i example i am a filipino say it again i am a filipino if it indicates past happenings use the be verb where if the subject is you example you were hiding under the table when mother called you and use the be verb was if the subject is i example i was calling dino when he arrived during the commercial break you will work on what's more activity a1 let's identify you read the story about miguel and see how he prepared for the big day then encircle the b verbs in the story this is the story Miguel's birthday party Miguel was preparing for his birthday and he was very excited 
So, he woke up early. Today is June 8. I am 8 years old now. His parents greeted him. Happy birthday, Miguel! What do you want for your birthday? I want a cake, lechon manok, and pansit, and invite my friends. Miguel said with excitement. But Miguel was not able to invite his friends because everyone was advised to stay home. His friends greeted him over the phone. So, his mother cooked pancit while his father went to ER Super Mall to buy cake and lechon manok. They eat dinner and watch a movie after. He had a simple celebration with his family. Let us read another story. Encircle the B verbs in the story. Here's the story. Animal Lover Animal Lover Miguel is an 8-year-old boy who lives with her mama and papa. He is loving with the animals. One day, Miguel went home from school. His parents were waiting for him to arrive. Miguel was surprised when he saw a lot of hens around the house. This is what he wants to have animals to feed. Miguel hugged them and said, Thank you so much, Mama and Papa. I am so happy. You are such a good son to us, Papa replied. Activity A2 Complete the sentence found in pages 13 to 14. Directions Complete each sentence by writing the correct form of the B verb. Am, is, are, was, where. Number 1. Our teacher, Mrs. Simora, blank absent last Monday. Number 2. Uncle Joe, Blank, not feeling well today. Number three, J. Lor and Jandy. Blank, playing soccer tomorrow. Number four, I blank sad today. Number five, you blank, hiding at the corridor. Number six, last month, you blank in the hospital for checkup. Number seven, the weather blank cloudy today. Number eight, we blank eating dinner last night when the telephone rang. Number 9. Green blank, a very dominant color in the nature. And last number is number 10. They blank, visiting their cousin last 
Oui. Activity A3, which can be found in page 15. Let's have a conversation. Directions. Read the conversation below and write the correct B verb on the blank. The B verb are am, is, are, was, where. Miko. Miguel called me that we blank invited to his birthday party. Martin. Yes, I blank so excited for the party. Blank, you excited too? Miko. Yes, Mila and Melcher blank preparing some gifts for him today. Martin. Where blank Melissa? Mila. Melissa and her brother blank absent today because they went to church. Melchor. What about Messi? Mila. She blank not feeling well. Miko. Teacher Chuna blank coming with us also. Melcher. Yay! We blank going to the party tonight. Again, do those mentioned activities during the short break. Take your time, kids! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation. NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Finally, we have come to this final part of our session in English grade 3. If you have questions or if you need clarifications, you may contact your teacher advisor through text or phone calls. They are ready to help and assist you for this lesson. For this quarter 2, module 1, using be verbs correctly. There are still activities for you to work on. Do the remaining activities there at your home. These activities are what I have learned on page 16. In this portion, you have to answer the two questions. Number one, what are the rules in using the be verbs in a sentence? Again, number one, what are the rules in using the be verbs in a sentence? Number two, why are be verbs very important in communicating with other people? Again, number two, why are be verbs are very important in communicating with other people? In what I can do, on page 17, this is entitled, Read, Relate, and Draw. Here, you are going to read the sentence. If the sentence is correct, draw a happy face on this column. If not, draw a sad face on the no column. 
Do this in your paper. Sentence number one. My mother is healthy. Is this correct? Yes or no? Number two. We are early in school. Is this correct? Yes or no? Number three. I am happy when I am with my friends. Is this correct? Yes or no? Number four. When I was in grade one, I had many friends. Is this correct? Yes or no? Number five. I am tall and fat. Is this correct? Yes or no? On page 18, you can find the 10 item assessment. You are going to read each sentence and circle the correct B verb to complete each sentence. Number 1. We was were walking late at night. Again, number one. We was were walking late at night. Number two. Did you know that she was where coming to school? Again, number two. Did you know that she was where coming to school? Number three. Lawrence and Claire is our friends. Again, Lawrence and Claire is our friends. Number four. Nilda is our wearing his favorite shorts to the party. Number five. Anna and Lisa answer quickly the teacher's question. Can you tell me that they is are smart? Again, number five. Anna and Lisa answer quickly the teacher's question. Can you tell me that they is are smart? Number six. I was where surprised when I saw my grade in English. Again, number six. I was where surprised when I saw my grade in English. Number seven. We is are not afraid of the giant bird. Again, number seven. We is are not afraid of the giant birds. Number eight. I am is lucky to have a caring friend. Number nine. He is are the famous actor in the country. Again, number nine. He is are the famous actor in the country. Number 10. You was where there to comfort your friend. Again, number 10. You was where there to comfort your friend. And on pages 19 to 20, there is an additional activity. Its title is Be Verbs in Sentences, wherein you are tasked to copy the paragraphs in your paper. Complete them with the be verbs inside the box. Here are the be verbs. Um, is, are, was, were. Last Christmas, I blank with my Lolo and Lola. They blank so happy when I gave them gifts. Lola 
blank surprise because she received a beautiful dress. Now, they blank not here anymore. They blank in heaven. I blank still thankful that I was with them last Christmas. Lula blank the loveliest woman I ever know. Again, do these activities there at your home. There are answer keys provided for each activity and test at the end of this self-learning module. So, you can check your works and answers after being done with them. We trust you will be honest in using this. Your teacher may give your parents the schedules, dates, and time for module releasing and retrieval. Your individual outputs in all the activities will be monitored by your teacher in your school. That's all for today. This has been your teacher in English 3, Teacher Talma. Saying, learn through God's wisdom. Be wise and be amazed. Thank you very much for being a good listener. Only here in Z Radio. Until next time. God bless everyone. Bye. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee, the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan, OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco, School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Robin J. Riponte, Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lorely E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.